I, it, I'd always had a sense that there was much more than just us, um, and that we couldn't serve ourselves. Uh, it's, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> Actually, my grandfather, he converted to Christianity, but I, I born as a Christian in a Christian family in Pakistan. So my real journey or my decisions to follow Christ, to be his disciple, began in the year 2010 when I was in a camp and I heard the call of God to follow him, to serve him as a full-time minister. You know, I had no road to Damascus moment like St. Paul uh, in the Bible. It was much more, uh, you know, mundane than that. I think probably I've always felt that I've known God existed. I've always felt loved by God. So it was a journey that started quite early on in terms of becoming a Christian, but it wasn't, I wouldn't say, until my teenage years that I really understood what Jesus meant for me. At my special school for the blind, we started to read the Bible together to try to understand answers, try to understand why we were blind and what help there was. My parents were both Roman Catholics. They've been brought up Roman Catholic and they rebelled against that by not getting us baptised and confirmed. But they sent us to church school so we could make up our own mind. And at the age of 12, I decided I wanted to be confirmed. The more I explored, the more um, it made sense and the more it works. And it's really exciting. 